guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm filming a super fun video and it is the all about my makeup uh, palette tag or something like that. I'm not 100% sure what the real name of this tag is, but I've seen this makeup tag going around and it's basically just asking you a couple of questions about your eyeshadow palettes. And I just thought it was a really fun idea to kind of go through my eyeshadow palettes and just kind of see, you know, what criteria these all fall under. So I will say I have haven't bought an eyeshadow palette since December because I bought a lot of makeup like during the Christmas time and then I just stopped. I have been like on a binge where I don't really wear as much eyeshadow or I'm just like kind of not into eyeshadow palettes that much anymore because nothing has really excited me. Although I will say that I really want the Natasha Denona one um, that just came out. It's like her bronzy one. I don't own any Natasha Denona, but I really want to own one. And that would be one that I like really want, but I just can't can't bring myself to pay that much money right now for an eyeshadow palette. So anyways, and not the point, um, I do have some of the questions and I gathered up all of my palettes. So I'm super excited to go ahead and get started with this tag. So the very first question is your, my newest makeup palette. And so like I said, I haven't bought a makeup palette since December. And it's funny because I really wanted makeup. I usually always want makeup during the holidays just to like restock up on like, you know, just like pretty eyeshadow palettes. And um, I actually got this Too Faced Just Peachy Matte Palette, which is this eyeshadow palette is super old. Like it's not new at all, but I really wanted it because a lot of people said that it was like one of their favorite eyeshadow palettes and it just looks like this. I really like this color combination like all these light browns and these maroons up here, like these little pinky shades are just like my cup of tea. So um, I'm also kind of a sucker for Too Faced, um, you know, like packaging. It's just so cute. So I got this one and I really like it. I think it's a great palette, especially if you're kind of a minimalist when it comes to makeup. Uh, this is a great everyday palette. You can do a lot of different makeup looks. They're all matte. So if you're not really into shimmers, this would be a great palette. But yeah, this is my newest palette, which is kind of embarrassing because I have like a beauty channel and this is my newest palette. So I don't know, but I think it's really pretty and I do really recommend it to people who are looking for an everyday palette. Okay, so the next one is your oldest makeup palette. And so I actually just decluttered my like makeup stash and I got Got rid of my urban decay like the original urban decay naked palette which was i think one of my very first palettes when i first started experimenting with makeup but i got rid of it because it's super expired i think i got it in like maybe 2011 or 10 something like that but i did keep this palette which is also one of my oldest palettes and this is the makeup forever it's called the Palette 9 artist shadow i don't even know if they still make this palette but it's just a very, I don't know, like they're all shimmers and I'm pretty sure I bought this palette back in the day because I actually used to only put like one shimmer on my eye and that was it. That was like the extent of my makeup. So I think that's why I purchased this palette. Um, I did not use matte eyeshadows and these, these eyeshadows are really pretty. They are very... Um, pigmented and that's why I kept this palette because obviously Makeup Forever has like really good quality shadows so I just kept it but I honestly never use this I kind of don't even really like shimmer eyeshadows as much as I used to like I do use them sometimes but like this I just don't reach for this it's just old and I should probably get rid of it but I don't know why I just can't I don't even I think I got this actually at Sephora during like my birthday and this was like not a cheap palette but this is definitely one of my oldest eyeshadow palettes and I should get rid of it but I guess I just have like an emotional attachment to it. So the next category is most expensive eyeshadow palette. So for me my most expensive eyeshadow palette is the Nude Huda Beauty um, eyeshadow palette. I also got this during Christmas and I paid full price for this eyeshadow palette which I really shouldn't have because I actually got a Huda Beauty palette during Black Friday for like, I think it was like 
70% off. I'm not sure. But then um, this one was sold out, so I wasn't able to get it. So I asked for this palette for Christmas. So it is a little pricey. I think it's $65. And to me, that's pricey because I think the Natasha Denona, like her smaller palettes are $65. So that's pretty up there for me personally. Um, I really do like this palette. It's really pretty, but I honestly don't really reach for it as much. I do like the, like the shimmers are what got me. Like I just thought it was such a beautiful palette. The shimmers are beautiful. I really have nothing bad to say about the palette other than the fact that really all your looks are going to look kind of the same because the colors are all that like pinky purpley kind of like you know shades. Um, I am not a huge fan of purple shades but I do really like the like pink mauvey shades. I think they look good on my skin tone but if you want to darken your look you really only have these two shadows to do that with. So that's the only downside on this palette, but the shimmers and the glitters are beautiful. I mean, it is a really pretty palette. Uh, it is a little pricey for what it is just because you can't create a lot of looks with it, but I love how it looks on my vanity and um, I would want to reach for it more, but I just kind of don't and I kind of regret getting it a little bit, but um, it's still really pretty and you know, it just looks pretty on my vanity. So yeah, this is my most expensive eyeshadow palette. So the next category is most affordable eyeshadow palette. So I went ahead and picked this one. This is the Makeup Depot Textured Eyeshadow Palette in Arabian Night, and it just looks like this. This brand is, I actually had never heard of this brand. One of my students actually bought this palette for me for Christmas. She was so excited to give it to me because she knows I love makeup, so I, you know, obviously was so happy that I got an eyeshadow palette and I actually used it and the shadows are pretty decent. This palette is $8. I had to look up this brand online because I have never seen it like anywhere else. But yeah, this eyeshadow palette is $8 and this brand Makeup Depot kind of does that whole like they dupe a lot of other um, you know, big makeup brands. So like this palette is a dupe for one of the, Nat uh, not Natasha Denona, for one of the Huda Beauty palettes. I think, I don't know what that one's called, but she has a palette that looks very similar to this. And so they duped it and they, on their website, they have a whole bunch of other palettes that are also dupes for like high end brands. Um, so yeah, this is $8. And honestly, if you're new to makeup and you or not new to makeup, but you just don't want to spend a lot of money and want pretty decent eyeshadows. I would say this is pretty good. Like I used a lot of the mattes and they blend just fine. I have never used the shimmers, I don't think, cause I don't really use shimmers as much anymore, but I do think this is pretty nice. And I mean, if you are looking for a dupe for the Huda Beauty eyeshadow palette, I would say this one is pretty spot on and it's, I mean, you, it's eight bucks. So like you can't really beat that. So that is my most affordable eyeshadow palette. Okay, so the next category is best everyday palette. And for me, that has to go to my Dose of Colors Baked Browns eyeshadow palette. I love this palette. Like I literally, if I only had to have one palette in my life, it would be this one because even though it doesn't have a lot of shades, it just has all the shades that I love and that I feel like I could just use every single day. So it has like my light color for um, highlighting my uh, brow, like my brow bone and then my light browns. And then I can use these two colors to darken my eyeshadow. And the Dose of Color eyeshadows are just beautiful. They blend out so amazingly and they're so pigmented. I just love this palette. I know that there are probably better palettes out there that you could purchase for, I think for this price point, which I think this is like 30 something dollars. So Yes, it's not like the cheapest for, what? how many eyeshadows does it have? Five, but I don't know, I just love these eyeshadows and I just love how they blend. They're so easy, pigmented, and I, don't, I just love this palette. And I've considered getting other ones because they have like baked browns and they have like mauves and all that stuff, but the baked browns is just my favorite because I feel more confident, like most confident when I'm wearing just a neutral brown smoky eye. So this is my most used everyday palette. Okay, so the next category is most colorful palette. And honestly, this one was really hard for me because I just don't keep colorful palettes. I had a really colorful palette that I used one time and I think we got it in a boxy charm and I used it for my bachelorette party because it was Coachella themed. So um, it had like really bright blues and pinks and everything. And then 
after that weekend, I have no idea what happened to that palette, but that was like the most colorful palette I had in my collection. And that was not even the most colorful palette out there, but I'm not a colorful kind of person. Okay. Like I literally wear the same looks all the time and I should venture out, but like, I don't know, just colors. I'm scared of them, but for the most colorful eyeshadow palette, I picked this Hello Charmer. Um, and this was like a boxy charm kind of, or, you know, like original that came out a couple of months ago. So I don't even think that you can purchase this anymore. But this is the most colorful eyeshadow palette that I have. Um, so it has like these really pretty blue shimmers and then... I guess this one's purple. This one's like a pinky orange. It doesn't really look like it on camera, but it's like a pink orange. And so, yeah, this is basically my most colorful. And like, if you look at this, this isn't even that colorful. But like I said, I do have other palettes that have like pops of pink or a, a pop of blue, but this one had, I guess, the most color in it. Um, and I have used this palette. I think I used the swipe up glitter and it was like really pretty but again i'm just like kind of scared of color so i don't really have colorful palettes but if i ever needed one i would probably you know go towards this one because it was a pretty nice palette again i don't think that you can um purchase this anymore because i think boxycharm just came out with their own eyeshadows for that one month and i don't i've never seen them again so most colorful palette. Okay, so the next category is a smallest eyeshadow palettes. And this one was hard because I wasn't sure if an eyeshadow, like how many eyeshadows an eyeshadow palette technically was. So the, the smallest eyeshadow palettes that I have are my little e.l.f. Um, quads. These are the bite-sized eyeshadows that they sell. I did a tutorial using these. Um, and these are literally, I think some of the best eyeshadows. I like literally love them and you just cannot beat them for the price. I love them. They blend out so beautifully. The shimmers are amazing and I just love these little things. Um, they have a lot of different colors, but my favorite is this a pumpkin pie one because it's just a neutral palette and that's kind of what I like. And then this one's really nice too because it has these like two brown neutrals, a little, a really pretty blue. It's like a I don't know how to, it almost looks black, but I think it's blue. And then this like silver shade, but I love these. These are super affordable. They're kind of hard to find. Every single time I go to the drugstore, they're always sold out, but there's a good reason for them to be sold out because they're just amazing. I definitely recommend these. I want to pick up all the different colors because they're, I think like $3. So these are my smallest little eyeshadow palettes. I love them. I will travel with them. I would take these two and be done. Like I wouldn't need any other eyeshadows. So I definitely recommend these. And these are amazing, amazing eyeshadows. And these are my smallest palettes. Okay, so now moving on to the category of biggest eyeshadow palette. And that one definitely has to go to my Morphe 35O eyeshadow palette. These eyeshadow palettes are so big. Like when this first came out, it was so big on YouTube. It was so big everywhere. Everyone wanted them. I had like three different variations of these large um, Morphe eyeshadows and I was obsessed with these. I thought that they were amazing. And I mean, Morphe eyeshadows are okay. I don't think that they're the best eyeshadows out there. For the price, they're good, but I feel like there's just better eyeshadows out there. Um, this eyeshadow palette, I really liked it because um, like I said, I'm a neutral type of person and these are all neutral colors. And then I also love like very burnt orange, uh, orangey looks. So I definitely liked this side of the palette. The shimmers are okay. They're not my favorite shimmers ever. And like I said, Morphe eyeshadows are okay. They blend out, you know, they blend just fine, but sometimes you have to work with them a little bit. Um, I never reach for this palette. I it's huge like I just I want to get rid of it But like I don't because it's just such a good, you know variety of colors So I always say I'm gonna get rid of it And then I like don't because I just look at it. and I'm like, I mean, it's a really pretty palette, but it's just so big like Just so big, you know, so um, yeah, this is definitely my biggest palette I don't think I'll ever purchase another palette this large because First of all, like you just get overwhelmed. Like I look at these eyeshadows and I'm like, which one do I use? Because they all kind of look alike, but then you want to use different ones. So anyways, I, um, these are still available. And if you're into that or a makeup artist, I bet these are great to have in your kit, but they're not my favorite eyeshadows. So 
yeah, this is my biggest eyeshadow palette. Okay, so the next category is the eyeshadow with the best, or the eyeshadow palette with the best memories. And this one was really hard for me because I got rid of a lot of my like older palettes, which I feel like had really good memories with them. Just because like I think of my Naked palette, the one that I was telling y'all that I just threw away recently, I had that one in like the pinky, Urban Decay nude palette and I got those when I was in college and I lived in San Antonio and I just like remember being in my dorm room watching YouTube videos that were like not the best quality but I just like was obsessed with YouTube and I like was trying to teach myself how to do my eyeshadow so those palettes were probably the ones that have the best memories for me because that's kind of how I learned how to do my makeup. I don't have those anymore but I did have this BH Cosmetics and Carly Bible eyeshadow palette and I'm not even sure when this came out. It's pretty old, like I'm not sure what year it came out or anything, but this was also a eyeshadow palette that I really liked because it was when I was like super into learning how to do different makeup looks and I loved this eyeshadow palette so much and I remember watching so many different YouTube videos on it. So uh, this one has a really special kind of like memory to it, I guess, because it just reminds me of when I was still really just kind of venturing out and learning how to play with eyeshadows. So I definitely do like these. Um, they were really great eyeshadows. I love BH Cosmetics like eyeshadows. You can see that I hit pan on these two and it had like these really pretty highlighters that I never used because um, I don't know I just never really got into like the highlighter trend I feel I do like highlight but just not like you know when everyone was putting like a whole streak of eye like highlighter on I just like never really got into that but yeah these are really pretty I don't this is this is like a special edition palette so it's not out anymore but this one I think has pretty great memories with it so this is my eyeshadow palette with the greatest memories. Okay, so the next um, category is the eyeshadow palette worth the hype. So for me, that would definitely have to be the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette. This palette was so overhyped on YouTube and when I finally got it, I 100% understood why. As you can tell, this palette is was very loved and still is to this day. I love this eyeshadow palette. I remember when I first got it, this was all I wanted to use. And I just, I love Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadows. Like I still think that they're some of my, I think she may be my favorite eyeshadow brand. I'm not really sure. Yeah, I think so. Cause I just, I just love her eyeshadow palettes. And this one was definitely one that did not disappoint. The color story of this eyeshadow palette is just up my alley. I love these like dark, maroons especially in the winter time i use this palette a lot in the winter time um so i just i just love it so much and when i um am kind of finished with all these shades i will be repurchasing this palette because it's just a staple in my collection i always kind of reach for it like i said in the winter the only thing i hate is this packaging because this is like really dirty but yeah worth the hype worth every penny um i just love this palette so much so this is the palette that i think was worth the hype okay so the next palette that i think was not worth the hype so this one was also a little hard i do like this palette that i'm gonna mention i don't think it's worth the hype only because i just don't think that all the colors um, kind of perform the same way. So that palette for me is the Huda Beauty um, Desert Dusk eyeshadow palette. I remember seeing this all over Instagram. Everyone was making videos with it, like, you know, those Instagram beauty videos. And I was like, I want that palette so bad. And so I bought this during Black Friday. And this is why I don't regret this palette. It was because it was like $30. But if I would have spent $65 on it, I would have probably regretted it a lot. Um, here's my thing. I love the colors like these colors right here are beautiful. I always use like amber, ode, saffron, blazing, these just like really pretty orangey browns. But like this color right here is like the ugliest gray color I have ever seen in my life. And like I just don't see how that would look good on anybody's skin. It's so ugly. Like it's just a waste of a color. And then when you get down to the shimmer colors, um, this color called Celestial, I really, really wanted to love it and try it. And then when I swatched it, it was just like a chunk of glittery mess. So I hated that one. And then this gold shimmer that is right here, it's called Nefer Nef Nefertiti. I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, it's like, it's a gold, but I'm just like, 
if this palette is $65, these sh shimmers better be on point. Like, these shimmers better make my eyes look like the best they've ever looked, and they're just not. So yeah, I feel like the quality of these shimmers is just like not up to par. I'm gonna swatch some of these just to show you guys. So these are the first three right here, and if you swatch them, they're just like super chunky and really not the best. That was just one swatch, which, you know, swatches sometimes like don't matter because they look different on your eyes, but that's them right here. They're not the worst shimmers, but like they're definitely not the best. So yeah, I just feel like this was kind of one of those where if I would have paid the full price, I would have regretted it because I don't think that this palette is worth the hype. I think that there are better eyeshadow palettes out there. If you want a Huda Beauty palette, I would say that the nude one um, has very pretty uh, colors overall and that one would probably be worth the money more than this one. Okay, so the next category is favorite palette from my favorite brand and that has to be my Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette. Like I said, I love Anastasia Beverly Hills um, eyeshadows. I think I've loved every single palette I've owned from her and this one is no exception. I love this palette. Again, you can tell that this has been very, very loved. I've hit pan on a lot of shades. I love this palette. I feel like this palette is so versatile. You can do everyday soft glam looks. You can smoke them out. The shimmers are beautiful. This palette is way cheaper than the Huda Beauty one and their shimmers are way better. So I love this palette. I have used it so much and I still use it every single day mostly. Um, I try to like, you know, switch out my palette so that I'm not using the same products all the time. But yeah, this one's definitely a cult favorite for me. And it's definitely, I think, my favorite from Anastasia Beverly Hills just because, like I said, I really enjoy um, using, or I really enjoy having like a brown smoky look. So this is one that I love and I will repurchase when I am done with it because it is just that good. Okay, so the next category is most used currently and currently I am really loving this BH Cosmetics Hanging in Hawaii palette. I actually purchased this last year, I believe, um, but I just think it's a really great palette. It's super affordable, it's only $16 and I love the color story of it right now for um, summer, just these really pretty peachy colors, these pinky colors, and then you can kind of smoke it out with these browns. I also love their shimmers like okay I'm gonna swatch these shimmers for y'all to show y'all how amazing these shimmers are and why I don't think the Huda Beauty palette one is like worth the money because when you look at how amazing these shimmers are like $18 as opposed to the really expensive $60 palette that Huda Beauty has. So yeah, I just think this is the most beautiful palette for summer. This is still available, so if you are looking for a really pretty palette that has some pinky toned colors in it, but also you can smoke it out, then I definitely recommend this, and I just love this palette. BH Cosmetics is killing it. They've been releasing a lot of really, really amazing stuff and I love them because they're affordable and they have amazing quality products. Okay, so the next category is most used palette of all time and I've already talked about this palette in this little tag video, but it has to be my Modern Renaissance palette. I have used and reused this palette. I still use and reuse this palette. It's just beautiful. I love it so much and I really feel like this is a palette that I reach for still to this day and I've had it for such a long time. It was a close tie between this one and the Soft Glam palette, but they are just, those two palettes are just palettes that I just constantly reach for, constantly have used and reused and they just never let me down. So this is, I think, the one that I would give the most used and reused because it has been very loved. I've used it for, I think I used it for my engagement pictures. I used it for my rehearsal dinner. I've just used it for a lot of things. So yeah, this is definitely one that I've just really used up and you can really tell with packaging. Okay, and the last category is um, the palette that I have rediscovered. And for me, that would be the ColourPop Sweet Talk palette and I purchased this I think like maybe two years ago and I bought it going into fall so I like never really used it because I didn't feel like the colors were very fall like um, but this is what it looks like and it's 
it's a beautiful palette. I love ColourPop. I think they have amazing quality eyeshadows. And sometimes they release a little too many things for my liking because like who can keep up with an eyeshadow palette drop every single week. Um, but this eyeshadow palette is just so pretty. It's also a great palette for summer because of the really light peachy tones that it has. You can also darken it up with this dark color. And these shimmers are also amazing. I think these are, these are their... Super Shark Shadows, their Pressed Powder, and their Pressed Glitter. So that's what's um, the three variations that is in here, and I'll swatch it for you. They are very pigmented as well. Just really beautiful colors for summer. So this has been a palette that I have rediscovered and have pulled out of my collection this summer, and I think it's a great palette. It's also still available, I believe, and these are just so affordable, and you just can't go wrong with ColourPop. Okay, so that is it for my all about my makeup palette tag. I had so much fun filming this and kind of looking through my old eyeshadow palettes and seeing what palettes I really need to get rid of because they're old and they probably shouldn't be in my collection anymore. But um, yeah, I just enjoyed doing this so much. Please let me know um, if you've filmed a video like this or who you've seen film this video because I just love watching it. It's so much fun. And let me know what your most oldest eyeshadow palette was because I really want to know how long people keep their eyeshadow palettes for. I know mine has been in my collection for way too long it needs to go like I have to throw it away today um, so yeah I would love to know if you enjoyed this video please make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel I upload a new video every single Wednesday and I would love for you to subscribe so you don't miss any new uploads that I post so I will see you guys in the next video bye